Hello and welcome to Becoming a Nerd, a safe space for girls, gays and theys who want to share their passion for fandoms in a non-toxic environment. Today I am going to be sharing with you everything you need to know about The Falcon and the Winter Soldier ahead of its first episode on Friday. So who are The Falcon and the Winter Soldier? Well, The Winter Soldier is Bucky, James Buchanan Barnes, he was Steve Rogers' best friend when he was younger, they fought in World War II together, and Captain America actually thought he died in World War II, but he did not. He was taken captive by Hydra, who were the bad guys, um, and basically turned into this like really bad super soldier, brainwashed guy with a metal arm. So basically Hydra, who were the bad guys, turned him into the Winter Soldier, which was like a weapon which was then used to try and ruin the Avengers, basically. He also did a lot of bad things when he was brainwashed by Hydra, um, including killing Tony Stark's parents, um, which obviously did not go down well when Tony first found that out. So the film Captain America Civil War basically follows that journey of Steve being like, he's my best friend, I know he's a bad guy, but he can be good. And Tony being like, he killed my parents, you absolute idiot, um, which is kind of where that all stems from. After Civil War, Bucky is sent to Wakanda where he is like recovering um, until Infinity War where he's obviously asked to come and join the fight against Thanos. And at the end of Infinity War he is blipped. The Falcon is Sam Wilson. So Sam Wilson used to be in the Air Force and he was part of this special division which used the X-07 Falcon Wings, which is where he gets the name Falcon from. So he met Steve, Captain America, when he was a veteran counsellor after he'd come out of the Air Force and Steve had been defrosted. Then in Captain America the Winter Soldier, Steve realises there's this threat and he's like, Sam, do you want to help? And Sam's like, yeah dude, I've got my wings. Um, and that's kind of how Sam becomes part of the Avengers, but he doesn't actually become an Avenger at that specific moment, but he like helps them out. Um, and then becomes one of the team. And then he, again, is part of the team in the fight against Thanos in Infinity War. He gets blipped. And actually a cute little moment is that he is the first voice that we hear when everyone is blipped back when Bruce Banner does the snap to bring everyone back and Cap's on his own and he's like, I'm never gonna give up, I could do this all day. Um, and then we hear Sam say, on your left. And it's just like, such a good moment. So in terms of like enhancements, powers, superhero things that both of those characters have, Bucky has his metal arm, but while he was being held captive by the Germans, he also was injected with the same kind of serum that Steve Rogers was that made him this like super soldier. Um, so Bucky also went through that transformation, which means that he's now like super strong, really like agile, has all those like heightened senses. Um, that Steve also had. Sam Wilson obviously has his wing pack, he's a bit more like Iron Man in the sense that without his tech he is just a human, just a normal human, um, so yeah his is all in his like wing suit. Um, Anthony Mackie who plays Sam Wilson has hinted that he might be getting some upgrades in this um, series so that's exciting. What the wing pack does for Sam is obviously allows him to fly, that's the main thing, but it also gives him like enhanced senses in terms of flying, so he is like a bird, he can like move really quickly but get out of the way of things and stuff. That was really badly explained, never mind. So as I mentioned both of the characters were blipped, so they disappeared for five years after Infinity War and came back after Bruce Banner snap in Endgame. And that is the last time that we saw them was at the end of Endgame where Captain America, Steve Rogers, goes back in time to replace the Infinity Stones and they're like, where'd he go? Bring him back, bring him back. And he doesn't come back. And then we see this old man sat on a bench and it's Steve. <laughs> um, and so that's when we last saw them. Steve gave Sam, the Falcon, um, his shield and basically like passed down that like responsibility, the legacy of Captain America to Sam Wilson and not Bucky which was a bit controversial I believe at the time. Um, I think it was a good call because like Bucky was his oldest friend 
but Sam was like this loyal, never left his side kind of guy, which I think is much more what Captain America is. Um, but yeah, so that's where we last saw them, which means that that is where we are gonna pick up at the start of the Falcon and the Winter Soldier. But does that mean Sam is now Captain America? I do not think so. So I think it was Steve's intention that Sam became the next Captain America because in that moment where Sam gets the shield, he has said, I just can't bear to think about living in a world without Captain America. And, and then Steve is like, ah, oh, that reminds me, here's the shield, it's yours now. So obviously Captain America, so obviously Steve Rogers thought that that was giving Sam the like mantle of Captain America. But it is expected in this series that we're gonna see Sam kind of having a bit of an inner battle with that and like whether he can carry on the legacy, whether other people want him to carry on that legacy. Um, yeah, it's gonna be interesting to see what they do with it because I think Sam is an Avenger in his own right. The Falcon is the Falcon. So I think to then kind of turn him into the new Captain America, I don't know, it's gonna be interesting. So now the big question, what can we expect from the series The Falcon and the Winter Soldier? This is tricky. I have done so much research into this um, and to be honest I'm still not overly clear. I am someone who has not read the comics, I have watched all the films in the MCU um, but I that's kind of the limit of my knowledge at the moment. So a lot of the videos that are like dissecting trailers and all of that kind of stuff, um, a lot of it goes over my head, I'll be honest, but I have picked the most important bits to share with you so we kind of have an idea of what's going to happen in the series. So as I mentioned, obviously Sam had just been handed this legacy of Captain America, but they're going to team up, Sam and Bucky are going to team up to try and continue that legacy. So we're going to see Sam struggle with that and whether he feels like he deserves to carry that on, whether he was like the right person for Steve to pick, all that kind of thing. But we're also going to see the external factors that are telling Sam he shouldn't be the next Captain America. Um, we're going to see someone who has been government picked to replace Steve, a white guy who we've seen in the trailer um, very briefly. And he is going to become like the new poster boy for Captain America and be much more what Steve was when he was first created as this like Captain America character when he would like go around performing and like boosting morale during the war and that kind of thing. Um, so rather than actually being someone who makes a difference this guy's gonna be much more of like a poster guy. It has also been confirmed by an executive producer that this series will look at race and how that has had an impact on the Captain America legacy, how that impacts basically the government's opinion on whether Sam should carry that legacy on, which I think is gonna be a really interesting conversation to happen in the MCU. I'm really looking forward to ha seeing how they do that. And we're hoping to get answers to lots of questions. Why are the government so against Sam becoming the next face of Captain America? What would it mean if he did become the next face of Captain America? And also how will Sam and Bucky react to Steve's wishes being ignored. You know, he wanted Sam to be the next Captain America. So if Sam doesn't become the next Captain America, obviously that like goes against his wishes. So are there gonna be consequences of that? In terms of other stuff we know, there are gonna be some characters returning to this series that we've already met, as well as on the new ones. Um, so Sharon Carter, who is Peggy Carter's niece, great niece. Um, who had a brief fling with Steve Rogers, um, which is weird in itself, but she will be returning. And in the trailer, we've seen her fighting Sam and Bucky, but I think we also kind of can see her teaming up with them. So intrigued to see what that's about. We're also gonna see Zemo again. He was the bad guy in Civil War, who like triggered Bucky's brainwashes and like made him be bad again and stuff. Um, so yeah, that's gonna be really interesting, I think, to see more of him. His whole bad guy vibe was based on wanting to tear the Avengers apart and make them, like, you know, ruin each other, which obviously he got pretty close with in Civil War. And I think we're expecting to see Rhodey again as well, so there'll be another Avenger popping up, I think. 
So obviously as well as old characters there'll be loads of new characters for us to sink our teeth into. Um, there are this group who are apparently called the Flag Smashers. Again this is one of those theories that has gone straight over my head. Um, do not understand what's going on there but that's apparently who we can expect to see. Um, if you've seen the trailer, that scene where they're like fighting on top of a truck and Sam goes, the little girl kicked your ass. Um, the people they're fighting there are apparently called the Flag Smashers. And as well as new people, we are going to see new places, which is very exciting. So we are apparently gonna be introduced to a place called Madripoor, which is a place that is in the comics, but we haven't seen in the MCU yet, um, which is like a hangout for criminals. Um, so like a criminal hub. And this might be setting up something for Shang-Chi, which is a film that's coming out in July. I think the only other thing that we need to know going into The Falcon and the Winter Soldier is when it's supposed to take place in the timeline of the MCU. So obviously we've just had WandaVision, which takes place like weeks after Endgame has happened. And The Falcon and the Winter Soldier is similar to that. We know it's after Endgame, but we don't know how far past Endgame. It could be a couple of weeks, it could happen at the same time as WandaVision, um, or it could be like a little bit after WandaVision, like a few months after Endgame. Uh, we're not sure, but we definitely know it's after Endgame because obviously that's when the passing of the shield happens. Now there is a rumor about the title of the first episode. So if you don't wanna hear that, cause it does give away something quite big, just like skip 30 seconds. Um, but there are rumours that the first episode is going to be called Rest in Peace Cap. And there's a lot of rumours that we're going to see Captain America's funeral. Which is going to stab me in the heart. So I hope you are excited for The Falcon and the Winter Soldier. I certainly am. I cannot wait for Friday. Um, if you feel like you need to do some catching up beforehand, I'm about to run you through exactly what you need to watch to see all of Sam and Bucky's journey up until this point. So start off with Captain America the First Avenger, that is when we're first introduced to Bucky and we see him and Steve and their friendship before the war, before either of them were any form of superhero. Next you want to watch Captain America the Winter Soldier, this is where Bucky comes back and we learn that he isn't dead and he's a bad guy and all that nice stuff. And it's also where Steve meets Sam, so that's a good one to watch. The next film you wanna watch is Captain America Civil War. This really shows how loyal Steve is as a friend to Bucky, protecting him from the rest of the Avengers who obviously see him as a bad guy because that's all they've known him for. But it also shows that Sam is willing to stand by Steve's side and fight with him. So that's a good one as well. And then lastly, you want to watch Avengers Infinity War and Avengers Endgame. We don't see Sam and Bucky that much in those two films, but we see how integral they are as part of the Avengers and in that fight against Thanos. And obviously then we see where they last were before the start of this series. So the end of Endgame sets up perfectly where we're going to pick up from on Friday. So that is everything I think you need to know before heading into The Falcon and the Winter Soldier. I am so excited for this series. I've just loved WandaVision. So if this is anywhere near as good, I'm gonna be so excited. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for plenty more fandom content that is coming your way. And yeah, I will see you after the first episode of The Falcon and the Winter Soldier.